हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी विल डिस्क पारासाइट एंटमीबा इस्टोलैटिक एंटमीबा इस्टोलैटिक द एंटमीबा इस्टोलैटिक सिस्टमिक पोजिशन सो द पैलम प्रोटोजोवा द एंटमीबा इस्टोलैटिक पैलम नेम प्रोटोजोवा सब पैलम सारकोमास्टिकोपोरा सब पैलम सारकोमास्टिकोपोरा क्लास रईजोपोड़ा क्लास रईजोपोड़ा सो दे आर दि सिस्टमिक पोजिशन पैलम प्रोटोजोवा सब पैलम सारकोमास्टिकोपोरा क्लास रईजोपोड़ा नैक्स्ट वन सो दस्टम एंटमीबा इस्टोलैटिक इज अ मैक्रोस्कोपि आर्गाज एंटमीबा इट ईज ए मैक्रोस्कोपि मैक्रोस्कोपि आर्गाज मैक्रोस्कोपि आर्गाज द small in structure the microscopic you see the only a microscopic so they are the microscopic in organism next one so they are the monogenetic parasite it is a monogenetic monogenetic parasite monogenetic parasite means so they contain a only single host monogenetic means they contain single host सिंगल होस्ट डाइजेनेटिक मीन कटे टू होस्ट बट द एंटमीबाइसलाइटिक इज ए मोनोजेनेटिक पारासाइट मोनोजेनेटिक पारासाइट मीन दीज पारासाइट कंटेन ओनली वन होस्ट दे कंटेन ओनली सिंगल होस्ट सो दे आर कॉल्ड एज मोनोजेनेटिक पारासाइट मोनोजेनेटिक पारासाइट नेक्स्ट वन सो दीज आर दि कॉजिंग दि डिज दिसज कॉल्ड एज अमीबिक डिसेंटरी अमीबिक डिसेंटरी और अमीबियासिस अमीबियासिस सो दे काजिंग टू दि डिज अमीबिक डिसेंटरी और अमीबियासिस डिज सो दे आर दि दे आर लिविंग इन लिविंग इन द म्यूकोसा एंड सब म्यूकोसा ऑफ दि लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन दे आर लिविंग इन म्यूकोसा एंड सब म्यूकोसा सम्यूकोसा इंटस्टन सो लारज इंटस्टन सो द इंटस्टन वाल कटे म्यूकोसा सब म्यूकोसा मस्क्युल सो दे आर दि लेयर्स द मेबर एंड आफ दि इंटस्टन सो दे आर लिविंग इन सब म्यूकोसा एंड म्यूकोसा आफ दि लारज इंटस्टन म्यूकोस एंड सब म्यूकोसा आफ दि लारज इंटस्टन सो दे आर काजिंग टू द डिज अमीबिक डिसेंटरी डिजेस नैक्स्ट वन सो दे आर दि वेक्टास् द हाउस प्लेस House flies and cockroaches, etc. So they are the vectors. So they are the vectors of Entamoeba histolytica. Entamoeba histolytica. So the house flies, cockroaches are the the vectors of the Entamoeba histolytica. Next one. So they are causing to the disease to the contaminated food and water so this disease causing through the contaminated food contaminated food and drinking water and drinking water so this disease causing to the contaminated food and drinking water so they are the introduction of the entamoeba histolytica so the entamoeba histolytica is the microscopic structure microscopic organism next one so they are the monogenetic parasite monogenetic parasite so monogenetic parasite means so they are the they contain only single host they are complete life cycle complete in only one host so they are the monogenetic parasites next one these uh, parasite causing to the disease the disease is called as amoebic dysentery or amoebiasis disease amoebiasis disease so the only one host the human being is the host of the entamoeba histolytica next one so they are the causing from the contaminated food and drinking water so they are causing from the infection from the uh, human beings through the contaminated food means uh, eating food and drinking water they causing to the disease so they are the vectors house flies and cockroaches are the vectors of the entamoeba histolytica next one entamoeba histolytica structure 
స్ట్రక్చర్ సో ద ఎంటమిబా ఇస్టోలైటిక సో దే ఆర్ ది కాస్మోపాలిటిన్ ఆర్గానిజం కాస్మోపాలిటిన్ ఆర్గానిజమ్స్ సో దే ఆర్ లివింగ్ ఇన్ కంప్లీ ఆల్ ఓవర్ వరల్డ్ సో దే ఆర్ లివింగ్ ఇన్ ఆల్ ఓవర్ వరల్డ్ సో దే ఆర్ ది కాస్మోపాలిటిన్ ఆర్గానిజం నెక్స్ట్ వన్ స్ట్రక్చర్ సో ది ఎంటమిబా ఇస్టోలైటిక లైఫ్ సైకిల్ దే కంటైన్ ఏ త్రీ స్టేజెస్ దే కంటైన్ త్రీ స్టేజెస్ లైఫ్ సైకిల్ ఇన్ లైఫ్ సైకిల్ కంటైన్ త్రీ స్టేజెస్ త్రీ స్టేజెస్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ట్రోపోజాయ్ స్టేజ్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ట్రోపోజాయ్ స్టేజ్ ట్రోపోజాయ్ స్టేజ్ సెకండ్ వన్ ప్రీసిస్టిక్ స్టేజ్ ప్రీసిస్టిక్ స్టేజ్ థర్డ్ వన్ సిస్టిక్ స్టేజ్ సిస్టిక్ స్టేజ్ so they are the in entamoeba histolytica the complete life cycle they contain three stages like complete life cycle they contain three stages first stages so they are the tropozoic stage first stage tropozoic stage second stage precistic stage so they are the second stage precistic stage next one third one cystic stage so they are the tropozoic stage the first stage precistic stage second stage cystic stage third stage so they contain in life cycle there are three stages tropozoic stage precistic stage third one cystic stage first step first heading tropozoic stage first heading tropozoic stage so the tropozoic stage it is a active active motile motile means a moving motile and so they are the eating eating and so these are the pathogenic stage and pathogenic stage pathogenic stage so the pathogenic stage means so they are causing to the infection so they are the infection of the human beings they causing to the disease stage so they are the these stages called as pathogenic stage the pathogenic stage means so they are causing to the disease this stage causing to the disease so they are called as pathogenic stage next one the body contain the tropozoic stage contain a they are the moving from the moving means so they are moving from the one place to another place so they are helps from the pseudopodia tropozoic stage contain a single blunt finger like structure tropozoic stage tropozoic stage contain single blunt blunt finger like structure finger like structure blunt finger like structure is called is called pseudopodia is called pseudopodia so the pseudopodia so this uh, pseudopodia so these are the tropozoic stage this tropozoic stage can contain a single blunt finger like structure is called as pseudopodia is a lobopodium is called as lobopodium so they are helping from the movement from the one place to another place next one the body is covered by the plasma lemma the tropozoic stage is covered by plasma lemma tropozoic stage covered by covered by plasma lemma covered by plasma lemma so they are the plasma membrane so they are the plasma lemma so they are covering by the total tropozoic stage is the covering by the plasma membrane plasma membrane is covering by the tropozoic stage next one they contain a cytoplasm the body they contain a cytoplasm the cytoplasm is the two types one is ectoplasm and endoplasm cytoplasm is two types cytoplasm is two types two types one is the ectoplasm and second one endoplasm 
ectoplasm and endoplasm. So the type cytoplasm is the two types divided into two types. One is the outer ectoplasm, inner endoplasm. First one, outer ectoplasm. Outer ectoplasm. Outer ectoplasm is a viscous clear clear viscous and non granular non granular so there are the outer ectoplasm is a viscous a clear viscous and non granular non granular means granulas are the absent granulas are the absent so they are called as ectoplasm next one endoplasm 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 so they are the fluid like they are fluid like fluid like and is a granular so it is a granular so the ectoplasm is a non granular endoplasm is granular non granular means so the granules are the absent so there the ectoplasm is granules is absent so they are the non granular endoplasm they contain a granules so they are the granular next one the endoplasm endoplasm they contain endoplasm endoplasm contain contain the endoplasm they contain food vacuoles contractile cartwheel shaped nucleus and ribosomes the endoplasm contain ribosomes ribosomes food vacuoles food vacuoles and cartwheel shaped nucleus is presenting cartwheel shaped nucleus is present nucleus is present see the diagram so there are the tropozoic stage this tropozoic stage is the outer ectoplasm so the inner is endoplasm so the inner endoplasm they contain granules so the granules are the so ribosomes food vacuoles and cartwheel shaped nucleus is present so the nucleus is like cartwheel shaped so the cartwheel shaped like nucleus so they have contain cartwheel shaped nucleus is present so the absent of the absent of the endoplasmic reticulum absent of the endoplasmic reticulum so the absent of the endoplasmic reticulum next one absent of the mitochondria mitochondria and absent of the contractile vacuoles contractile vacuoles are the absent so the mitochondria is absent ribosomes is absent uh, um, golgi complex is absent golgi complex golgi complex is absent so they are the absent of the endoplasmic reticulum absent of the mitochondria contractile vacuole and golgi complex is absent so the mitochondria is absent from the tropozoic stage so they are the obligatory anaerobes so the mitochondria is absent the tropozoic stage is the obligatory anaerobes obligatory anaerobes is, so they are the mitochondria is absent so there there is no respiration process so they are the obligatory anaerobes next one so the thus a uh, tropozoic stage they releasing the enzyme this enzyme is called as histolysin the tropozoic stage tropozoic stage releasing releasing enzyme so this enzyme is called as histolysin enzyme name histolysin so the tropozoic stage they releasing to the enzyme histolysin so these histolysin these are the dissolving of the just example so these are the 
intestine the large intestine they contain a, a walls mucosa submucosa musculars so they are the walls so these are these stage presenting in the this stage submucosa and mucosa membranes so these tropothyroid stage they are releasing to the enzymes releasing to the enzyme this enzyme is a histolysin this enzyme a dissolving of the wall of the large intestine so they are the dissolving the wall of the intestine so the histolysin these are action of the wall of the intestines wall of the intestine so the wall of the intestine is the damage dissolving of the intestine walls so they are the releasing from the blood releasing from the blood so this uh, tropothyroid stage is the eating stage so this eating stage they eating of the rbc so the tropothyroid stage is the eating stage so these are the dissolving of the membrane of the wall membranes so they are releasing to the blood that blood contain a red blood cells so they are the tropothyroid stage eating to the red blood cells so the food vacuoles contain rbc so these are the red color one is the rbc so the food vacuole contain rbcs so they are the tropothyroid stage so they are the special characters these special character they contain a food vacuole contain a rbcs they contain a cartwheel shaped nucleus so they are the special characters of the tropothyroid stage next one the tropothyroid stage is the holozoic organism holozoic type so they are the holozoic type holozoic means so they are eating to the all type of the food materials so they are the tropothyroid stage once revised the tropothyroid stage the tropothyroid stage they covering by the plasma membrane so they contain a single blunt finger like structure so they are called as pseudopodium this pseudopodium helps from the locomotion so they are the infective stage active and motile next one they contain a ectoplasm and endoplasm they contain cytoplasm cytoplasm is the two types outer ectoplasm inner endoplasm so the outer ectoplasm is clear and non granular so the inner endoplasm is the the fluid like they contain a granular so it contains the ribosomes food vacuoles and cartwheel shaped nucleus is present so the absent of the golgi complex lysosomes mitochondria the contractile vacuoles are the absent next one this stage releasing to the one enzyme that enzyme is called as histolysin enzyme name histolysin so this histolysin the action of the wall of the large intestine so the wall of the large intestine is the dissolving so they are releasing to the blood so they are the this uh, blood contain a red blood cells and bacteria so they are eating to the red blood cells so they are the holozoic type of the stage next one so they are the special characters the food vacuole contain rbc next one cartwheel shaped nucleus is present so they are the special character of the tropothyroid stage next one second one pre cystic stage second one pre cystic stage second one pre cystic stage second stage pre cystic stage so second one pre cystic stage so they are the diagram of the pre cystic stage so the pre cystic stage is non motile and non infective stages it is the non motile and non infective stage non infective stage next one this shape is the spherical or oval shape shape spherical or oval shape spherical shape or oval shape next one this stage is presenting on the lumen of the large intestine it is presenting in it is present lumen of the lumen of the a large intestine lumen of the large intestine so it is presenting in the lumen of the large intestine so this pre cystic stage is presenting in the lumen of the a large intestine next one in this uh, pre cystic stage they contain a glycogen granules it contain 
ग्लाइकोजन ग्रान्यूल्स ग्लाइकोजन ग्रान्यूल्स एंड क्रोमाटिड बॉर्स इज प्रेजेंटिंग क्रोमाटेड बॉर्स आर प्रेजेंट सो द Glycogen granules and chromatid bars present in the pre-cystic stage. So they are the reserve food materials of the stage. So they are the reserve food of the stage. Reserve food of the stage. So they are the pre-cystic stage. Simple. So the pre-cystic stage, non-motile, non-infective stage. Next one. So this shape is the spherical shape or oval shape. This stage they contain a glycogen granules and chromatid bars. So these glycogen granules and chromatid bars are the reserve food materials of the stages of the endoviva histolytica. Next one, third one, cystic stage. Third one, cystic stage. Third one, uh, cystic stage. So the cystic stage, so their shape is the spherical shape. Cystic stage shape, spherical shape. spherical shape the shape is a spherical shape next one so these membrane so the plasma membrane is covered by the cyst wall plasma membrane is covered by a protecting membrane it's surrounded by by cyst membrane cyst membrane by protecting membrane protecting membrane is called cystic wall cystic wall so these uh, cystic wall the formation is called the formation of cystic wall is called as encystemation so the formation of cystic wall is called as encystement so the encystment of the formation of wall is called as encystment next one in this stage they contain a glycogen granules and chromatid bars in this stage contain a glycogen granules and chromatid bars next one so in this uh, cystic wall function so this protecting membrane function so they are the protection from the unfavorable conditions the cyst wall function so they are the protection of the unfavorable condition from the transfer from the one host to another host so they are the unfavorable conditions so this protective wall is this cyst wall is helps from the protection cyst wall helps from the protection next one so in this after uh, encystemation after encystemation after the formation of cyst wall these nucleus two mitotic divisions the nucleus occurring the two mitotic divisions so they are one nucleus it divide into two nucleus divide into two nucleus two divide into four nucleus after cyst wall formation the nucleus is divided into two mitotic division one mitotic division divided into two cells another divided into four cells so this stage is called as four cystic stage this stage is called as four nucleate cystic stage four nucleate cystic stage so this uh, four nucleate cystic stage is the infective stage so they are the infective stage of the entamoeba histolytica the four nuclear stage of the cystic stage so they are called as infective stage of the entamoeba histolytica infective stages of the entamoeba histolytica so they are the pre cystic stage and cystic stage simple the cystic stage the shape is a round shape the wall is covered by the protecting membrane so this membrane is called as cystic wall next one after the formation of cystic wall the nucleus is divided into two mitotic division one nucleus divided into two nucleus two divided into four nucleus the formation of four nucleus this four nucleus stage is called as tetra nucleate cystic stage this stage is called as tetra nucleate cystic stage so this stage is called as infective stage of entamoeba histolytica infective stage of entamoeba histolytica so they are the three stages of the entamoeba histolytica next next class we will discuss a life cycle of entamoeba histolytica